Hey guys, as mentioned earlier, I will be starting my free online coaching classes for the net examination, especially for the geology students. And this video will be an introductory video for the net exam, in which I will try to cover what is net exam and why to go for it. And the next is the question pattern in which they will be asking question in this net examination. And the third one is the syllabus for this net examination that is also for the earth science students only. So welcome to my channel success guru and myself Panchanatham. Let's get into the video. So what and why that is the first heading that is CSIR net is conducted by the national testing agency to test the eligibility of a candidate for junior research fellowship that is JRF and a lectureship that is LS. And this exam is conducted twice in a year that is in the third week of June as well as in the third week of December. And if you want to apply for this examination, you can follow this link that is www.nta.ac.in And the minimum qualification for applying for this examination is a student should complete his PG or even a final semester student can apply for the net examination. And the required percentage is that for general and OBC, the candidate should at least acquire a 55 percentage of marks in his or her PG. And for SCST PWD female applicants, the minimum mark required is 50%. And there is an age criteria for generals, it is 28 years, 28 years. And for SCST PWD and female applicants, there is a relaxation of 5 years. And for OBC, that is also only for non premium and there is a relaxation of 3 years. And remember, this age criteria is only for the JRF, that is the Junior Research Fellow. And if you want to apply for LS, that is for lectureship, there is no any age criteria. So anyone at any age can apply for this examination. And this exam, that is the net national eligibility test, is to test the determine eligibility for a college and university level lectureship and for the award of junior research fellowship. For the Indian nationals, it aims to ensure a minimum standard for the applicant in teaching, profession and research. So for example, if you clear this net examination for JRF, you are fully eligible to join any national universities or even colleges to do your PhD with the full support of fellowship from the government. And if you clear this lectureship that is LS in this net examination, you are fully qualified to join any university as an assistant professor and you will be having a extra mark while attending the interview who are not having any net examination. So this is a basic qualification to join as assistant professor in any colleges or in any university. And for the question pattern you can see there are, there is this is a 3 hour exam in which the mark is of maximum of 200 and there are 3 portions that is part A, part B and part C. The part A consists of general sciences, quantitative reasoning and analysis and research aptitude. The candidate have to attend a minimum of 15 questions out of 20 questions and each question consists of 2 marks. So the total mark allotted for this section is a maximum of 30 marks. And for part B, this part shall contain 15 multiple choice questions generally covering, covering the topics given in the syllabus. A candidate shall require to answer any 35 questions and each question consists of 2 marks. So the total mark allotted for this section is 70. And for part C, there are a minimum, there is a 80 questions. And the candidate have to attend a minimum of 25 questions and each question consists of 4 marks. So the total allotted mark for this section is 100. And remember there are negative marks in part A and part B. The negative mark is of 25 percentage. That is if a question, if the answer is strong, then there will be a reduction of 0.5 marks per question. And for part C, the reduction is 33 percentage. So it was somewhere if a question is wrong in part C, the reduction will be somewhere near 1.23. And this is how the question pattern is for this exam. And if you are looking for the syllabus for earth sciences, 
the earth science atmospheric oceanography and planetary science will come together in a single heading and for part b there are five headings that is in the syllabus that is the earth and solar system the earth material surface future and processes interior of the earth deformation and tectonics ocean and atmosphere environmental earth sciences so in which a geology student uh, may cover may have his in syllabus that is the top 3 is in his syllabus his or her syllabus for the pg student in geology and other two i think oceanography is also in a syllabus only the atmosphere is quite new for them so if they prepare quite well they can clear this portion and they may get up to 70 marks in this section and for part c for geology there are actually 10 headings the first one is mineralogy and petrology and next is structural geology and geotectonics and paleontology and its application then sedimentology and stratigraphy then marine geology and paleo geography then gen geochemistry then economic geology precambrian geology and crustal evolution quaternary geology these are the top 9 headings the 10th heading is the applied geology in which remote sensing and gis engineering geology mineral exploration and hydrogeology will come remember all this five headings consist of same equivalence that the questions will be allotted equally in all this five headings so if you are a student from geology you may have studied all this 10 headings in your pg as well as in ug so if you try to concentrate in the other headings it will definitely support you while answering for the other headings also because you have to attend a minimum of 35 uh, i think there are minimum of 25 questions right and there are almost five headings so if you at least cover three headings like physical geography and geophysics if you cover for that is if you prepare for these two headings also that will be very helpful for you to clear this examination actually i am thinking of starting whatsapp group for the discussion and sharing of study materials for both net and jam examination if interested just mention it in the comment section we will go further on this thing and i have grouped the videos according to the category in my playlist that you can check you want if you want to connect with us these are the links for us to connect get connect and you can also support us by like share and subscribe thanks for watching Have a great day